today on The Real. On Girl Chat, how to get through a bad holiday meal. You gonna eat somebody bad food, but you ain't gonna take their bad gift. <laughs> Plus, The Real is getting naughty. And nice. As we go Grinch on those negative comments. Let me tell you something, baby. Uh-oh. And two of the kids from Blackish get squared up for charity. What is 50 Cent's real name? No, I didn't know. The Real. Chat. I am. Yes. I am. All it right. Let's festival. do that out here. Yay. Yeah. I know, you guys. Look at the festivities here. I it's the holiday it. season, so which means we are all busy getting our grub on. Yes. yes. And nobody makes food sing better than Miss Patty LaBelle. Am I right? Yes. I mean, come on. Discussing the new season of her cooking show, Patty LaBelle's Place, Miss Patty was recently asked how she thinks food brings people together. Miss Patty said, I believe most of us love food the same, especially if it's quality food. We sit around and talk about how great it is, and after I cook, if they don't tell me it's awesome, then I'm gonna have to pimp slap them. <laughs> I love her, you better say it. Patty! Hey, come on, right, Patty? Oh my God. <laughs> if the food is great, then it's easy to follow Miss Patty LaBelle's request, right? But what do you do when you're at the holiday table and the food ain't good? Oh God. Come on oh. now, keep it real, right? We have mixed families. Sometimes people cook things a little differently than you. What would you guys do? Would you tell them or would you keep it to yourself? I, I keep it to myself, but I ain't eating it. So I tell you that much. Wait, there's no way. You would actually go to a Thanksgiving dinner and not eat? I, I've yeah. done that. I've done Why? that. That's, no, you, you don't eat so bad obvious. food. I mean, you find something that you can, you know, so I'm over there in the cakes. Like, why you, because okay. uh, the cake might You eat might something be good. at least. Yeah, I eat something, but I'm not gonna eat, you know, if, especially if it don't look right. I, ooh, I, ooh. Oh my God. Or has Me. anybody ever done the thing where you get your plate and you didn't know that it was bad, so you have some extra napkins and you gotta do the. Yes. Please don't tell. You've actually done that? Yeah. I Girl. do that, Adrian. You swallow what do you do? bad food? I swallowed, yes. I. <laughs> I can't pause. You know why I'm laughing, okay? I'm talking about food. Yes. So, because I've actually cooked Thanksgiving dinner before, and it takes a lot of time and energy and effort, so even if I don't like it, I will stomach it, but I just won't ask for seconds. That's how you know. Thank you, yes. Me being kind. Don't waste yes, your time. Oh, yes, about me. I know you guys know this. I am like the least picky eater on the planet. Like literally you could put anything in front of me and I'll really? be like, this is so bomb. It's yes, I'd be hungry. <laughs> so um, I, I understand what you're saying, but like I just, if it's carbs, it just tastes good to me. You got the bread, gotta at least be good at the dinner table, right? All that to say, I have cooked for my family before. You and, have? Uh, not Thanksgiving dinner, don't get crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I have cooked like the next day, like doing eggs. Yeah. And I over salted and over sassonged and over adoboed my oh. eggs. And I straight up could have given somebody a heart attack in my family. Like legit. Did they eat it? was it? so, they did because they were just trying to encourage me to, you know, in true Latina form, nena, you need to cook. Yes. Uh -huh. So they were just trying to get me excited about it. But yo, it was terrible. Wait, if Adrian <laughs> tells you that the eggs were bad, they had to be bad because it's real hard to mess up eggs, folks. No, you can mess up eggs easily. You can you over can... salt them like Correct. she did. Correct. I really okay, yes. was seasoned. super yes. seasoned. Now, did you ask them because you could tell by their faces or did they just come out and 
Oh no, my dad has high blood pressure, so oh, when my mother Adrian. removed it from him, <laughs> I knew there was something medically bad with my eggs. That's fancy. It was That's bad. Horrible. It was like, oh, and you don't need all that salt. Well, Thank okay, you how about this though? Now that we're in another generation where we cook differently from our parents, if right. everybody's feeling me. Yes. And back in the day, like, Asian people, they cook using ingredients that you can't, like chemically today, it's been proven it's not okay, like MSG. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, I used to eat, my, when I eat my mom's food, I'm like, oh my God, this is so good, and I'm so thirsty, and I'm so irritable afterwards, and I don't really know why. Then one day I watched her cooking, and she brought out this big ass, she bought <laughs> out this big old jar <laughs> of MSG. <laughs> and Wait, she what do you mean? She, she, like, okay, all eight, most Asian people, Keep a little jar tucked away in the corner with this white powder, and it's MSG. What oh. is M I flavor know. enhancer? And it's not good for you. It's it's just proven all. it's not good for you. So I got into a big old fight with my mom because I was like, Mom, don't cook with that. Like you don't need it. She's like. What you mean you don't take it from me? <laughs> and I'm like, don't cook with that. If you die, you happy. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's not good. So now, today, I've taught her to cook with natural ingredients. So okay. she's not using high fructose corn syrup. She's not using hydrogenated oils. And she threw away that rat poison MSG. That's great, Jeannie. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good, right? Yeah, you guys gave me the confidence during cooking wars. I just decided I'm gonna do both of the recipes that made me win. Well, hey, just in great. case you're not feeling the food at your next holiday dinner, thedailymeal.com has these tips. If the food comes out bland or just horrible, <laughs> <laughs> add salt and pepper to camouflage the negative quality. Or sriracha. Sriracha will work wonders, people. Get a, get a bottle. Larry seasoning salt, you know. Adobo. Take, take a sip of your drink just before putting it in your mouth, then immediately take another sip to help swallowing <laughs> the process along. That's you so know what bad. else helps you guys? Drinking lots of wine. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you oh, it does. That's true. It I'm does. If you make tipsy, everything that food flavorable. Tastes bomb. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> then they said if those two don't work, move the majority of your food to one side of the plate and attack the dish that you can tolerate first and consolidate the one you dislike so that your unfinished oh, place yeah, don't no. look so full and look I like you that. ate and you just got full. So that's, oh, that's we being try kind. To help you out. That's being kind. Yeah, that's well, along with the holiday meals come the holiday gifts. And when it comes to gifting presents to kids, should parents be allowed to tell the people what they should buy for our children? Well, according to SheKnows.com, it may not be so rude to tell friends and family what your kids want and what they don't need. Mm -hmm. The article says that some parents don't want their kids to play with toys made out of toxic or disposable materials, and some people wish their in-laws understood that a giant bag of crap from retail stores is not gonna be extra appreciated just because there's twice as much stuff. So. Do parents know best? Should we ask before we buy kids gifts? I mean, as a mother of two, I, well, just in general with my family, I didn't know that that was the norm. We always asked from the get-go. When my sister had Cree, yeah. and then also when um, I had my children, I appreciate my parents. They always ask what my children want, but most importantly, they always ask, what do they need? Yeah. So right. I know that when they give me, yeah. you know, to give, well, when they give them the gifts, the kids are not just gonna look at it and be like, I don't want this, and then it's yeah. just gonna be like junk around the house. Yeah. Who wants don't that? Don't make me spend my money and then your kid don't want my gift. Okay. Yes. Because kids yeah. are honest. Now I don't have time to be thinking about that stuff. But just then, send me the list. But then if you ask them what you need, I feel like the parents will say something that's not fun for the kid. And so I, I like to give children... But they do both. They age. say what they want and what they need. Because right. parents are gonna be saying a math book when the kids really want Legos. Yeah, but you know I mean? I've also right. had people give my niece drum kits and things like that that the parents wanted to like low key, like not have kill you. Like, yes. Like, was there any re real reason why I you do that on purpose? Me too. I'm sorry. Like, I a too. drum kit. I want that you to have a dog that, that, that goes. <laughs> That's so messed up. Anything I love with that. noise, I like to give. Me too. Give. Me I too. Like to yeah, give. the parents want to kill you though. <laughs> yes, we do. They do not appreciate drum kits. I'm sorry, okay? Wait, okay, does this rule only apply to kids, though? Because I think this rule should apply to adults. I don't think it's a problem if you tell people what you really want. I agree. I agree. Right? Let's get really what we want? really want. Yes. There should be a holiday registry. You know? You know how you have, like, wedding oh, registries? Yes. 
baby shower uh, registries. I did terrible in my wedding registry. I didn't fill it out at all. I, I registered at three places, and then everybody went to go look, and I didn't pick anything. I forgot. Oh, Wait, you guys, I, that's actually genius. Yeah. That's really Nobody smart. can take this idea, but I'll partner with you. Hey. What if? We created an app that just like Tinder or those other apps where you swipe for a man, you swipe for your gift. And you That's can actually really write no. down what you want. No. And your no. gift is on there. And there's now apps, you guys. There's apps that yes. you actually have the option. It'll say the price of it. Like, let's say you wanted a scarf that was 120 bucks. That's really expensive. If let's say you wanted a scarf that was 40 bucks, well, you get to click on it, and then you get to see everything everyone gifted you, but you get the option. You either take the 40 bucks look, or the gift. Okay, look, yes. look, hey, look. No, they're Lonnie, really. What, look, what Lonnie? It's it called exists. a gift, okay? People give uh, a gift. You, you don't start. But some start... people are bad gifters, Lonnie. Lonnie. You've but never the whole point a bad is, gift? how you, you gonna eat somebody bad food, but you ain't gonna take their bad gift? <laughs> <laughs> That's really? what I wanted. <laughs> Well, if she has the option Priority. of telling them Priority. what she can. Yeah. I don't, yeah. don't want to waste people's thing. money, though. No, can I... we be honest about us here? Yes. What? Well, we're telling each other what we want. That is true. Well, that's because y'all decided that. I didn't decide that. I was, it, was, it was three against one. So <laughs> we... I said I'll go along with the, with the majority. It just you guys helps said our it. brain power. Like, instead of sitting and thinking, I know what Lani I think want? you want. What does Lonnie need? <laughs> Por qué, Papa Dios? <laughs> like, instead of doing all that, I yeah. can just straight up be like, these were the three options she got. Whichever I happen to run into yes. first is what she gonna get. How many people here would rather be able to tell a person what they want as a gift? And then you just choose. Okay. And the great thing is you can put a price limit on it. Like, you put a price, a price limit on it, but it's a gift. It's, and it's during this time of giving, you shouldn't be putting stuff, because some, sometimes Jesus you might Junior put something over here. on... You might give them a gift that maybe they can't afford or something like that. Let people give you what th comes from their heart. That's what I believe, all right? But y'all do you with your little registries well, or whatever. Not, but what Just about giving gifts, you options, Leaving Lonnie. you a list in your room upstairs yeah. that tells you what you want. Give me flowers. I don't like that. flowers. Well, uh, one thing we won't be doing is shopping at the dollar stores. <laughs> now, nothing is wrong with dollar stores, <laughs> I... but a study done by a research group called Kiplinger says that although there are some great deals at the dollar store, a dollar price tag on an item doesn't make it a bargain for you. In fact, if you are filling your basket with outdated products and unfamiliar brands, you may be wasting your money, okay? Ooh. There's just some things I don't buy at the dollar store, okay? Okay. Like like I don't buy them them uh, uh, pregnancy tests. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did that. Yeah, that'll make you. <laughs> no, you guys. I. Okay, real talk. Back in the day, when you know pregnancy tests are expensive, they're like almost twenty something dollars, and yeah. they're in locked cases in the mm -hmm. back of Walmart. Okay, so I saw them at a dollar store, and I bought a bunch of them. And one time, my friend it was she wrong. needed she needed to go pick up one. I was like, "Girl, I got you," because I had them all stocked. Well, I gave it to her. She took the pregnancy test. She was clear, so we were like, "Fine." So we went out, had drinks, whatever. Yeah, like, whatever. The baby. This was wrong. this was like, <laughs> I was twenty four. <laughs> You guys, two weeks later, she was pregnant. See? And she blamed me, and I looked at the boxes of all those pregnancy tests I bought. They were two years expired. See? That's why you No, don't... I'm it's... serious. Can you believe that? I did that to my but friend. But certain things, like I don't buy my meats. Anything that goes on my skin <laughs> or inside my mouth, Do I don't they... buy at the dollar Ooh. store. I just don't. Do they sell... That's, it's... You know. Do they sell condoms at the dollar store? Yes, yes, they do. And yes. you got to use two or three of them to have protection. So, yes. no, don't get them there. Do not buy condoms at the dollar store. <laughs> no. Yes. But the weird thing is at the dollar store, they only sell the things that don't sell often. So, I didn't look at the condom size one time, and I brought it home. And when oh, you geez. opened it, yo, oh, it was geez. extra, extra large. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> It's crazy. I love the dollar store. I go ham there. No, I they do have good this. cookies. Okay, you know what is a good gift to bring to people at the dollar store? What? what? When you go to someone's house and they have those tins that are Christmas and they have the three different popcorns yes, yes. in them, that's good if that's good the one. popcorn might be a little... That's no. Stale, but it's a good gift. No, but you look like no. You, you guys can. like the little berry. No. I think they're yes. great, like stocking fillers. Awful. Uh, yes. The sticky hand thing. The yes. sticky hand toy. Yes. Those you don't want your kids sticking that all over your walls? Hey, it's fun. I had it. 
Those are fun. You know, yeah. if the dollar store has brand name things, then I might pick it up. But um, the things I like to get are like cleaning supplies, things mm. like okay, that. Yeah. Things that doesn't go on my body or in my body, I don't like to buy from the dollar store. You know, I like some... that. No, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys my tip, my own secret. Uh -oh. Every year, my Asian gift wrapping, secret. my Asian secret right here. Every year, my gift wrapping is so on flickety fleek. I get it all at the dollar store. That's yep. a good one. That's Every bowl, wrapping that, paper, mm -hmm. bows, fillers, everything. Yes. Yeah. And that one. stuff is expensive. Yes. Decorations is a great thing you can get that they have tinsel and lights and all Reeds. that kind of stuff. Uh, you know what I was funny about what? the dollar what? store? What? Wait, say it. What were you oh, no. saying? None of you guys ever got them gels that were like this big of clear crystal gel for your hair from the oh, dollar store? Yes. In that I know what you're there. talking about. Yes, it's amazing. But what they do with it, they like the brands, they'll change just the first letter of the product. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. So it's like not Noxzema, it's Moxzema. You know, yeah. it's like, I don't want that. I Honestly, you know? I don't care. If it smells and kind of looks the same, what, I'm, at that time in your, I don't know, it's all about saving money. There's things I want to splurge on, and then for toothpaste, if it says um, Dolgate, I'm okay. No! <laughs> now, recently, some fun, awkward outtakes of some young former Disney stars like Hilary Duff, my girl Raven Simone, and our very own Tamara <laughs> were shared on the internet, and we couldn't wait to show you guys this clip of Tamara with her sister Tia. You gotta check it out. Take a look. I'm Tia, and I'm Tamara Mori from, from Sister Sister, sister and, and you're watching Disney Channel. Just watching you, you even do the, like, oh, you're so, yeah. oh, oh you guys. Little damn, damn. <laughs> do you remember what was going on here? I do. Um, actually, Sister Sister was off for about two years, yeah. and then the Disney Channel picked it up. Mm -hmm. So T and I were just grateful. We were grateful that our show was, was kind of like, re well, a lot of the younger kids mm -hmm. could now uh, watch it. It was revived, so it was really fun. Was cool. What was she telling you? What was the whispering? Okay, what a lot of people don't know is that when T and I do things together, we actually help each other. So I help direct her and she helps direct me. So she was giving me a little note. Sometimes I could be a little bit Jim Carrey-ish, meaning um, I'm a face puller, I make lots of faces. So Tia was like, okay, Tamara, don't, don't do that at the end. That was a little bit too much. I and I was that. like, okay, Tia, I get it. And it actually turned out really cute. That was, that was the take they used. I love that. That. Oh, wow. yeah. awesome. that is hard to find. And what a lot of people don't know is that, like, there's nothing there for you to follow. It is no. so awkward. You're just standing like, there like, uh, like that, Tia, exactly. She was, she was so excited to do it. Yes, come she through loved, our muscles. Right? Uh, she was so happy great. that she was the one that uh, got to draw. I love that is so this. funny. Well, your sister actually tweeted, oh my God, they were filming this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that how you felt when you saw it? No, I just thought it was, it was, it was really, Cute. It was fun to go back, uh, back in time. I got an bit. outtake. Yeah. Well, you know what, Tamara? I found a video of someone else at this table who was on the Disney Channel. Take a look. Hey, what's up? I'm Adrian, and you're watching <laughs> Disney Channel. <laughs> She would wear your hair more curly because I love no, that. That was it's like, so cute. like let's like that was a lot. I remember the day I did that. I had just dyed my hair out of a box hair dye, uh -huh. and it was that purple brown color, like purple red. Uh huh. Why I don't know. I was bored and I dyed my hair that color. I remember being there doing it. And honestly, I was so excited. It right? was actually what people don't know is it's such an honor to be a part of the kids that Disney. got to do that. It's actually called the Circle of Stars, Disney Circle of Stars, and I felt honestly so honored to be the first Latina to ever do it. So that oh, meant cool. so much. Oh wow! Yeah, that was huge. So 
Yeah. And you look exactly the same, friends. You do. No. Friends, you, do look. you look the same. Thank All God. you did was discover eyelashes. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Disney yeah. was like, put some chapstick on and squeeze your cheeks and keep it pushing. Uh, did you do? Did you do your own makeup? Yes. So did we. we I did our, my own makeup. That's yep. why I was so cool. Yeah. yeah. It looked like you did. So. Tamara and Adrian and I got you both wands because we are gonna have a wand off, ladies. We Don't are. Don't you think we should? Yes. Yes. Hey, what? Okay, here you go. Oh, here you, you go. Did. Thank, you, thank you. So let's see. Spell out the real with those wands, okay? Can you do that? Okay. okay. We gotta relive this. Okay, so Cam's okay. gonna I go might first. Just do the R. Is that Girl, okay. you can put in oh, color. Go for it. Do whatever because you, want. you have to do it backwards. That's the thing. Oh, you're smart. Yeah. I forgot <laughs> about that part. Does she have to do it backwards, you guys? Yeah, so I'll just, just do, do the it. R backwards. We... Okay, do you it. You want to do right? it right, Lonnie? <laughs> okay, <laughs> three, two, one, go, Tam. Hi, I'm Tamir Mori Housley, and you're watching The Real. <laughs> oh, that was so that good. Was good. Uh -oh. That was, that was so good. good. Uh oh, now we, okay. now we going to have some trouble over yeah, here. I'm trying to figure out how the heck got do it. I do it backwards? R. Your turn, Adrian by Loam. Okay. Come Three, on, Adrian. Two, you can do it. You can one. do it, Mike. Action. Hey, what's up? I'm Adrian Houghton, and you're watching The Real. Oh. Hey! Ah! <laughs> you guys know we love keeping it real, and we want to say thank you to our fans. You guys always have our backs and are quick to step to the plate to put a social media bully in check. Boom. We appreciate you. Yeah. There are times where we want to step up from the sidelines and take a swing for ourselves. So we found some comments that we'd like to respond to. It's time to hit reply. <laughs> All right, let me kick this off. Adrian, yes. my dear, people are always coming for you. Recently, you posted a video of you and Israel dancing at your wedding. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yay. Well, aw, so pretty. <laughs> Several Instagram users had something to say in the comments. They wrote, so cute. But in the beginning, does she say you look so stupid? Oh, or no. am no. I hearing that wrong? Please tell me I didn't hear that too. I wish them the best. Did she say you're so stupid? So Adrian, do you have some words for these commenters? I'd like to hit reply on that. Okay. All right, first of all, if anybody knows a girl from New York, uh, telling somebody, ooh, you so stupid, is actually another word for silly. So you guys, I, I love that um, he not only one is super fun and super silly and we never take ourselves too seriously, right. but ladies, find yourself a man who also defends you. And I love what he did. He actually put up a photo of us being super silly playing in the rain and in his uh, caption he said, we never avoid an opportunity to be silly or, in quote, stupid, so that people would recognize yes. that's our way of playing and flirting with each other. He likes that. And um, ladies, find yourself a man that'll whisper something silly in your ear that'll make you say, ooh, you so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's good, it's good. <laughs> All right, I've got one for you, Jeannie. You ready right. for this one? Yes. Okay, Curl Friend X commented on an Instagram photo of you and Mama Mai at the American Music Awards. Oh, best day beautiful. ever. We're so happy beautiful. to bring you so And you even posted yes. videos. You guys looked amazing. Thanks. Well, Curl Friend X had something to say. She wrote, at the Genie Mai, I have a question. Why is it that you bring your mom with you everywhere? And like, I don't mean it in a mean, rude way. Your relationship with her is goals. I'm just curious is all. Thanks, love. So, Jeannie. Okay, I want to hit the reply. First of all, thank you for clearing up that you weren't trying to be mean-spirited, which I respect, but I do get comments like that about why I kick with my mom. First of all, I, and I'm real passionate about this, I don't think it's ever possible to spend too much time with your parents. Oh, I love that. There's time flies by so fast, life is so short, you never know how long you have them. So appreciate every moment. Secondly, Freddie, my husband, he travels a lot. Like he's out half a year sometimes and I travel a lot. So in those times alone, you guys, I don't wanna be alone. I wanna maximize that time with spending 
you know, with, with people I love, like my mom. So, you know, that's a, a magical moment when Freddie is away, then Mama Mai and I play, and then when he comes back home, it's all of us together, or me and Freddie get our time together, so that's really nice. And then number three is, I never realized it until recently, you know, after I hit 30, I just realized, oh my God, my mom is such a treasure in my life, that the Aww. things that I have in my life are bucket list things for her. Going to a red carpet event, getting to travel to yeah. Asia to shoot a television show, like, these are things that she's never been able to do, because you guys, she had me at 19 years old. She's only known to be a teenager and then be a mom. So now is my chance to give her the life that she gave me. That I love that, you know me? I hope I'm that way. Yes, you have it with the wire. So respect, you guys. Respect what Mama Mai and I have. Don't worry about us. We okay. I love that. No. All right, Tam. Yeah, I've got I one for it. you. I we found it. this on the Reels YouTube channel. God. A commenter felt some type of way about what you said. Roll the clip. I can make collard greens. My husband can actually make collard greens really? better than I can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would y'all buy collard greens from Neiman Marcus? Okay, Miss Court writes, now Tamara, yeah. ain't no way Adam is making some good collard greens. You must eat like a white person because, girl, Tam, I know you need to hit reply on that. The only thing I can think of is, damn, Gina, why you gotta bring race into this? Yes. Really? But dang. Right? What she missed the whole point. Yes. Okay, now I gotta get factual. Honestly, collard greens actually originated from Greece. They became a southern Break delicacy yeah. in the States. Let them know. And what they don't know is, is that Adam's grandma was from the South, and she passed away before she could spread that recipe to, to him. My husband loves collard greens. And it was on Thanksgiving, and my mom saw that, and she was like, you know what? Why don't I pass down my traditional recipe to you? Oh. Guys, Dude. with there being so much racial tension in this world right now. Why don't we start with ourselves? It doesn't always have to be about race. Let them know. Tell them. So sad. Okay, Lonnie. Here's one for you. Uh -oh. It's from The Real's Instagram page. The comment was under a photo of you and Monique when she came to visit us and you got emotional. Well, Jen underscore Sonia noticed and wanted to put you on blast. She wrote, Lonnie been crying too much lately. What's going on, menopause? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Lonnie. Let me tell you something, baby. If you done been through what I done been through, if you done seen what I seen, Monique and I was in my first movie ever, okay? That was 10 years ago. To have her come on a show that now is partially my show, and she is a guest on my show, those are not tears of menopause. Those are tears of joy, honey. Understand that. Our next guest play Anthony Anderson's oldest kids on the hit show Blackish, and at just 16 years old, they're both NAACP Image Award winners. Please welcome Marcus Scribner and Yara Shahidi. as tall as him. Oh, oh I know. I know. She's, she's been dreaming, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you guys met each other. like real brother and sister the way you just talk to each other. <laughs> I know. I love it. So you're both 16 now. Yes. Are we driving yet? <laughs> no, not yet. We're Ubering Ooh, everywhere. Yeah, Uber, Uber everywhere. everywhere. Three, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, we both have not gotten our license or gotten our permit yet. Or anything. Okay. I've, uh, the, the closest I've been to driving was in Africa. I went off-roading, and I drove into a ditch immediately. So that okay. let me know right there. Not Maybe, good. yeah, not um, You're going to continue anymore. Ubering for a while. Yes, yeah, okay. exactly. I'm great on a jet ski. <laughs> like, get me on a jet ski, I'm good. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Go All right, we're going to have you island hopping. Yara, your dad was one of the personal photographers for Prince. Mm -hmm. We miss Prince so much. Yeah, we do. No, really do. What's one of your uh, memories of him? 
Uh, I have so many fond memories, but I'd have to say one. Um, when my first movie came out, imagine that, he actually rented a theater so that everybody was able to go see it in Whoa, his crew. Wow, wow. Yeah, and what's crazy is... That is so awesome. Right now, they opened up Paisley Park, and there's still a picture of me in his office, which was surreal when I first got that message. Like, wow. I'm still in the office, and... So that was that was quite a moment, but I mean, honestly, he has given my family the ability to do what we want and embrace the fact that we're all a family of creatives. So we owe a lot to him. Oh, wow! That's great. Beautiful, great job. Marcus. When you aren't working, what do you like to do for fun? Um, when I'm not working, I love to play basketball okay. and video games is my oh number my one of course. Like, favorite okay. hobby. Okay. <laughs> I knew everyone was going to say, of course. I play uh, like a bunch of games. The nerdiest game I probably play is League of Legends. Yeah. I recently went to one of the championships for League of Legends. Wait, what? The championship games for League of Legends. Let me clarify, he watched the championship yes, watched. game. I was oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm not that good. That you were playing. I'm not that good. No, I was watching and they actually sold out Staples Center, which was pretty amazing. What? Yeah. yeah they they sold out Madison Square Garden before, Stable Center, all like different arenas around the world. That's He's wow. very knowledgeable of this. Yes, yes, he is. We've all heard the saying, there's no I in team, and to today we are proving that. We've got a brand new game where working together will earn you some big bucks, because it's time to play The Real Square. <laughs> Today we've got some very special players. Yara Shahidi and Marcus Scribner from ABC's Blackish. <laughs> Give them a real warm welcome. Now before we start the game, Marcus and Yara, you both are playing for charity. Yara, tell us the charity you're playing for. I'm playing for St. Jude's. Uh, they have taken care of some of my relatives while they have dealt with cancer and I appreciate the fact that they allow patients to focus on their care rather than the cost of their care. Right. Yeah. Thank you. My girl. And Marcus, tell us your charity and why is it important to you? Um, the charity that I'll be playing for today is the Sandals Foundation. Um, I've traveled throughout the Caribbean with the Sandals Foundation, visited some of the schools out there, and I feel like it's really important for us to donate money and time to help rebuild those schools and make them better. Uh, all right! Oh, this is amazing yeah. charity. Great yes. charity. All right, teams, here are the rules. Backstage, we separated you and asked you a few trivia questions. You have your answers on your cards, right? Yes. And when asked, you're going to hold them up. If you and your teammate both get the answer right, you get a point. If only one of you gets it right, or if you both get it wrong, zero points. The first team to get two points will win the game and $500 cash for their charity. All right. Yeah. Audience, playing for team one, we have Adrian and Yara. Are you ladies ready for the game? Of Absolutely. Course. All right, team two, we have Tamara and Marcus. Do you guys think you can beat Adrian and Yara? Oh, I hope yeah. so. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. She don't know which way to go. Good luck to all of you. Let's do this, okay? Here is the first question, you guys. What is 50 Cent's real name? His government name. All right, Adrian Yara. Curtis Jackson. Oh, okay. That. That's correct. Go, Shorty. You right. The answer is Curtis Jackson. That's one point for you guys. All right. Booyah. Tam and Marcus, let's see your answers. I know Sorry, Tam. Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> Tim said. Wait, oh, you guys being well, serious. Well, we both were at least funny it's, with it. Yeah, we both. Sorry, yeah. you guys. You, you 50 Cent Senior, really, Tam, Tam? <laughs> Tam. Okay. No point it. on this one. All right. Oh. Teams, the score is one to zero. Tell them the next question, I'm Jeannie. I'm scared, Lonnie. I know. I'm scared. All right. Teams, your question is... What is the name of both Will's uncle on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and the name of Claire's husband on Modern Family? Adrian, Yara, what's the answer? Okay, they know what's up. Phil, uncle you're both Phil. right. Right. Nice Nine point work. for you. Uh, Tam and Marcus, come on, tell me you guys got this. Okay, Tam got it. Yes, Phil, Phil. All right. <laughs> That's the point for Tam and Marcus. <laughs> All right, teams, the score is now two to one. Yes, okay, final question. Here it is, the Earth is home to how many oceans? Ooh. I know Adrian ain't got this. Adrian, four. Sorry, Munchkin. No That's points for the team. You said four. That's incorrect. How many are there? I'm going to let you. I want to see that answer first. I want to see Tamara. I knew she got it. OK. Marcus. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
right, okay? So, Marcus and Yara, since you're playing for great causes, you know, we're going to give both of your charities $500. How about yeah. that? Huh? Yeah.